Good morning, welcome back to the channel. So, I don't know if I made the right decision today. After my last exploits at um, macro photography, I thought I'd give it another go. Um, so, I looked out this morning, looked really still, no wind, and, and it is really still, no wind. Um, so it's really good from that point of view. Um, but the weather forecast was for a bit brighter, I think. And again, as with my last macro video, I came out and it was raining. It was spitting with rain when I came out again. So I'm going to give it a go anyway. I've got the macro lens on. Finally made it in. It took me. It must have took me ten minutes to decide: shall I take the long lens off? Shall I leave it on? Shall I put the macro on? You know. In the end, decided to put the macro on, and I've come down to an area um, where. I've been before, there's, there's an area up here just in front of me where there's quite a lot of wild, um, I, I guess weeds, flowers, all that sort of stuff. Uh, and yeah, I've seen quite a lot of butterflies and bits and pieces there before, but as I say, I'm not sure if I've made the right decision because it's overcast, it's dark, it's not very warm, so we're not going to get much activity which may mean we can find things before they start to fly around which might be quite good um, from that point of view but the temperature is not great this morning even though they said it was going to get a bit warmer and it might do within the next hour or so but we'll have a look I have brought the flash with me um, so I have been taking a few photos in the garden using the flash just to try and get used to it I must admit it was a few weeks ago now so I've probably forgot it all again um, but we're going to give it a go with a flash See if we can get some light. So as I say, it's a bit... <laughs> I don't know what happened then, but my, my Osmo, my Osmo gimbal I'm using to, uh, re to record the vlog, it just threw a wobbly. It was spinning, it was going up and down. It was all over the bloody place. I don't know what happened. Anyway, we've got it back settled down again. Um, as I was saying, you know, we're just going to have a look. I've got the flash with me. Um, so um, we'll, we'll probably put the flash on to get a bit more light because I think we're going to need it this morning and just see what we can find so I'm not holding out much hope but you know hopefully you know I mean it might it might brighten up a bit I don't know it's not looking fantastic at the moment but we'll see what happens so let's go and find a pitch we're not going to wander around too much we're just going to settle down in one area and see what we can find in that area so let's go and have a look so as I say it's uh, it is a bit dark today so what I'm going to do is uh, I'll put the flash unit on top and we've got a bit of a diffuser we're going to put on there and then we'll start having a run, proper wander around in this area and see what we can find. This is a, a little diffuser unit that I uh, I brought a um, LED light for mainly for in the uh, in the studio at home so I can do some video recording on the studio. But it's, it came with this, which was uh, a free uh, accessory, which is just a little bit of a diffuser that fits over your flash, uh, and really is ideal for this sort of stuff. So, so I've had a little play with it, and it seems to work quite well. Done a few in the garden. And I'll show you a few of those images as well in the video. Um, but yeah, we'll give it a go out here. 
see how we get on with it. There you go. Simple little diffuser. I might have to take the lens hood off because that might just give us a bit of shadow if we're not careful if we're very close to stuff. So probably going to have to take the lens hood off as well when we're getting close to stuff. But uh, yeah, let's go and see what we can find. So I'm going to start by trying to get just a, there's a nice little thistle here that's, I mean, these, these are pretty well at the end of their, um, their life now, I guess. But uh, this might make a nice little, um, nice little macro shot. So it's, I mean, we can, what we want to do again with macro is, is get, a, I think, as we said before, is try and get a, a nice clean background. So we're trying to get the, in this case, the little flower um, with nothing at the back of it. Um, so we've got the greenery, which is far away in the back of it. And we're just going to focus on that and just see what we can do to get a nice clean image of it. And then hopefully, you know, we should get something decent out of it. And, the, and it is dark, so the flash is going to, we really do need the flash. Because um, with depth of field, I mean, I want to be trying to get to about F11, F14, maybe even more if I can. Um, so we're going to use the flash so that we can, we can um, you know, close down the aperture, get that better depth of field. And the flash is going to fill in the light for us, hopefully. Um, and we should get a reasonable image out of it. So let's see what we can get out of this one. So what I'm doing is I'm actually, I'm setting the, the flash on manual mode. Um, because using manual mode we've got more control over it and we want to use some of the ambient light we just want the flash really as a fill-in flash so by using manual we can start off I mean I'm starting off with it on full power but when I just took that shot just then it was actually too bright so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just drop down the flash down to sort of half power to start off with take another shot and see what that's like and then we'll keep just adjusting the flash I've set the ISO at 400 so we've got a constant ISO I've got my shutter speed at one hundredth of a second and at the, say at the moment I'm on F11 to try and get me a bit of depth of field and I may even increase that a little bit just to try and get some more depth of field as well. Yeah, we're still too too bright even that so let's go down to a quarter quarter power on the flash that's better we're getting some nice fill in light now we're getting a nice a darkish background against it because you know we've cut down some of the ambient light but we're getting a good fill in on the front of it and getting a nice smooth now with the diffuser on, we get a nice smooth light on it. So let's see if we can get a few more shots of that. So that's the first couple of shots in the bag. Um, that's give us a bit of a you know starting point. It's, it's good to do something like that, just something that's a still object to start off with before you start looking for the bugs, the butterflies and everything else, because at least you know you get your eye in again, you get your camera settings roughly where you want them. And you're pretty good then to start um, start taking other shots. So I think I'm pretty well set up now. We're gonna have a wander around, see what else we can find, and see what images we can bring you. It really is a case of paying close attention to what's in there. I mean, there's tiny little flies in here and things that you just walk past normally. You wouldn't even see. But 
when you take the photos of them, it's amazing the details in there, even the, you know, what you think is just an ordinary fly. And there's a little red bug of some sort up here, I'm not sure what it is, but uh, yeah, absolutely fantastic. When you see the close-up detail of them, absolutely amazing. There's a little bit of a breeze getting up at the moment, so we just need to find the sheltered side. I think further down we're a bit more sheltered in that area down there, so things are starting to move around just the tiniest bit which makes it a little bit difficult I know a lot of people use clamps and things so they'll put a tripod out and put a clamp onto it or something um, just hold things steady um, I'm not really that advanced at the moment So one big mistake I've made today is I've not brought any new batteries for the flash. Um, didn't realize they were that low, to be honest. And it's struggling to recharge. So I'm just having to let it take a little while, which means I can't take many shots at the time. So uh, yeah, that's a bit of annoyance, but uh, that'll teach me. I think about camera batteries all the time, but flash batteries, I don't think about very often. Well, that's about it for me for today, again. Um, there's a little bit of a breeze getting up, so it's getting harder and harder at the moment. The light keeps changing, so we've had a bit of sunlight, uh, quite a bit of clouds, so, you know, different, different sort of light conditions. I'm gonna try and get a few more images just to uh, put into the video, and you've probably already seen them by now if they're there. Um, but yeah, quite good fun. Definitely the flash makes a big difference, especially in these light conditions. Um, what I am keen to do is see how the images came out when the sun was out a bit more and we're just using the flash as a fill-in flash 
rather than actually just to light the scene. But what I've also seen is that with the flash, you can shoot on a much lower shutter speed because the shutter speed doesn't matter too much. The flash will actually freeze the image. Um, so that's quite good because flash is really quick. Um, and, and you know, you can, you don't have to be quite as steady. You need to be in focus, but you don't, it doesn't matter if there's a bit of camera shake or if you're shooting at a lower shutter speed because the flash will actually sharpen those images anyway. So yeah, really good. And definitely when I'm doing macro, I think flash is definitely the way to go. At least have it with you, you know. I mean, you might not need it all the time, but at least have it with you. Um, but yeah, hope you like the video. Um, if you do, a thumbs up would be great for me. And if you're new around here, don't forget to subscribe. Um, I'm going to do a bit more macro. I mean, macro is probably getting to the end of the season now. You know, what are we? We're, we're beginning of September now, so we're getting towards the end of the season. Um, so probably the macro lens will be going away. I mean, you do find, I guess, as the, as the temperatures drop in the mornings, you get some nice dew. So, you know, not necessarily insects and butterflies and things, but you do get other stuff around that you can still do macro of. You know, it doesn't have to be a living creature. You know, it can be a plant or anything really, and you can get some really nice images. Um, but I'm quite enjoying it. I've quite enjoyed the macro and hopefully I'll bring you some more. So whatever you're doing, have a great day and I'll catch up with you again soon. Bye for now.